Hello, and welcome back to another day of Path of the Dovahkiin. Skyrim, a modern adventure, uh, blah blah blah, all that. Let's go murder some bandits, shall we? Got a bunch of fun new spells to mess around with here. We've already seen what Nightblade can do. What else have we got here? Hmm. I haven't unlocked False Light yet, but as soon as I do, that'll be quite effective as a weapon. False Light. I just need to get another level in. Alright, what else can we use? Oh, let's take a... Take a... Ugh, let's make a use of this. That'll be nice to have. And I think we'll just do some fireballs. Uh, eh, not exactly what I was hoping for. I thought that was candlelight. That's the spell I was thinking of. This periodically revealing map markers is interesting. Well, let's see. I don't really want this. It's not worth that much and it pays too much. great either. Especially since experience is based on money. I'll take one of those mammoth tusks. They weigh a lot, but they're worth quite a bit. Actually, I'll take them all. Maybe I'll, depending on the value, I might drop some later. another episode. <laughs> uh, okay, try again. Right, let's see. I think I need some AoE kind of damage. Something that can deal with a large group of them at once. So poisoning all of them seems like a great way to start. Bye. That was the key 
that I took last time. That's what I think. That's what it looks like. Volcanic Cradle. Hmm. Excuse me. Magic find. Additional magic items. Shield mending. and everything. Prices. Now I've got three things to make my prices better. If I recall correctly, there's no way actually out over here, it's just a pit. But there might be some loot. I think some bodies are in this pit. 
Yeah, it's like a spike pit. I once saw, I think, a mammoth body or something in here. Something ridiculous. I don't want the venison, really. It's too heavy. Yeah, I don't want to touch these spikes. They do a lot of damage. Get out of here and go turn in this bounty. Sell off the stuff we got. I guess we should look over here since we didn't see what's in this direction yet. There might be some more bandits actually. Oh yeah, there definitely is. I think the poison stacks actually. That's too heavy. Well, this is more worthwhile than these are. Back on the way out, if there's nothing else worthwhile. I'd love to do all the mining in here, get all the metal, you know, because I craft stuff, but I'm not putting any of my points into crafting skills right now, and it's kind of outside of enchanting. If you want to get the best gear possible, I guess if you max out your enchanting and smithing, you can get some really good gear. But, well. A lot of XP to spend on those things when you kind of can only max out a couple skills overall. I feel maxing out enchanting has a little more worth as a mage since it also affects staffs, and I can make some really good staffs later on. Alright, let's see. Let's head up to Dragon's Reach. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. I am become death, creator of plagues. You know, that'd be a cool build idea. A plague doctor who just uses a bunch of poison magic and disease and stuff. And, like, <laughs> false healing magic to, uh, basically kill people with <laughs> by destroying their bodies from within. See, the only difference between, uh, healing magic and... Something deadly. The Jarl is excellent. You've done us a great service. Is it Here is just your mending? But really, healing can cause the most Enjoy damage. If you could twist reach. healing magic into, you know, ripping someone apart rather than putting them back together, it would be quite effective. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the Great War. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. I should put on my speech <laughs> gear before I go selling things. All right, let's switch into my speech enhancing things. Uh, sorting by value. I'm already wearing the boots. So next one, the shield and the ring. You know, if you've got the, it seems this damp. Take a look. Also means that spells are cheaper. This tornado spell sounds kind of interesting. I just like the why the idea of uh, sending people flying. Uh, you know what? Let's see. It's kind of expensive, but I'm actually gonna pick up a tornado just because I want to send someone Remember. flying with a <laughs> tornado. Well, Mine is the best weapon. You Let's go sell off our gear that we got.
damn those gray mains to oblivion. Well, they want to back the store. Well, you know, I should have tried out using my gate whenever I was over there to teleport back here. Ah, yeah, whatever. I'll leave it there for now. Make use of it later when we're out in the wild so we can't run fast travel back as easily. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. Everything's... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Perfect. As nice as this bow is, I don't really need it. I've been holding on to it for a long time, but really, I think I should get rid of it. Let's off those mammoth tusks. I have so many of them. They're over here, right? Yeah, nine of them. They're worth so much less now, but still, that's 400 gold that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Still have all these pelts and whatnot, too. I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to get rid of all this iron just because it's so heavy. It's not worth carrying 29 pounds of, a, of iron that I can't really use effectively. I wonder if this healing spell is twice as effective. I wonder if that allies thing is actually necessary or false light will let me murder people with it faster. I should test that before I sell that armor because if that's true, then I could double my damage basically. Oh, hey, I have some other boots that increase selling. Well, they're not as good as these ones, though. Oh, well, I actually have some gloves that do the same thing as this armor, but they're better because they also have other effects. 15% resistance to all magics. And a chance to make enemies refuse to fight. The next time you were died... It fucking died. The next time you are died. The next time you would die, you would be brought back to life. But this item is destroyed. That's actually really good. Could be quite helpful if I'm in a tough fight. A way to have twice two lives. I'm gonna hold on to this resistance ring just because I think if I could stack resistance effects, I could get some really high re magic resistance. I don't know if that doubled XP thing, or if the 2% XP thing actually works on, uh, like, whenever I sleep. If I put those on before I sleep, does it actually do something? Maybe I should try that with this shield. I should, maybe I should have kept those boots. Well, it's too late now. So I'm not gonna get them back. Well, we'll give that a try. Do come back. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Yeah, no, duh, dipshit. We're in the General Goods Store. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny how Skyrim characters can be so. Uh, what's the word? I guess unaware of their surroundings. It'd be interesting if someone coded them to be a bit smarter with their dialogue when they're inside of locations and things. I know there's some that improve dialogue on a lot of characters, but there's only so much you can do. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got the clip. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Oh, well, well I didn't realize the option would still be there then. Good to know my room's still available. Sweet. All right, let's see. Gonna keep pumping the restoration skill. Maybe I can get up to 75 if I'm lucky. Oh, yes, I did. Perfect. That unlocks a new spell. Can't wait to see what that's like. Uh, next level, what's the rest? Uh, a little bit more into destruction. Two levels, sweet. 
Let's get false light now. Sacred Guardian and under my wings. Where's under my wings the Sacred Guardian? Under my wings is all over here. Dual casting a healing spell on yourself, also cast on nearby non-mechanical allies. Oh, so if I dual cast a healing spell on myself, it'll damage everything around me with false light. That's a nice. And what was the other one? Let's see. It was Sacred Guardian. Sacred Guardian, I think. There's Sacred Flame. Warrior's Flame. Sacred Guardian. Emanated 20 foot aura of protection. Any living allies within that range who fall below 30% of health are automatically healed 150 points. It has a 30% cool, 30 second cooldown per target. So it uh, triggers once per target every 30 seconds. Which means if I get an enemy down to 30% health, they immediately take 150 damage with that, uh, with Light Wielder. I definitely want to get this. Yeah, that sounds great. There's so many good skills to get. I love the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this so we can maximize our false light damage here. We can now use our spells as a weapon. I'm gonna show y'all guys how effective that is as soon as we can actually get to a uh, enemy. Uh, oh, right, I also got a new death spell. Let's see. Carry on wind. Whirlwind takes 19... Uh, Non-mechanical targets in the path of the whirlwind take 19 disease damage for 15 seconds. So it's 6 more damage, but the cost is more than doubled. 41 versus 100. That's insane. Uh, yeah, that's with a 50% reduction on the price, too, which is crazy. Not sure how worthwhile that it, using that is right now. I've got a hungry daughter to visit. Yes, so my produce is really yes, All right. Let's go find someone we can test this out on by going over to killing these guys. If we head to the Overlook, we can kill the guy right away. Wait for him to actually be clear. Uh, yeah, look at his health drain away. And look how much mana that took. That was at that was dual casted, supposedly at 10 mana per second, and it did basically nothing on my. Uh, grab that. Value 750, that's not bad. Value per wave is 50. I'll take it anyway. make use of these. We 
keep going in and out of that loading zone. Time to try and attack me. Uh, I could have sworn there was another body here that I didn't loot. Well, no, eh, I think we're good. Lockpicks does not seem likely. <laughs> Alright. Head right back up to Dragon's Reach. Turn in this next bounty. Aye, sir. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. For your visit to Dragon's I wonder what happens if I try talking to the Jarl right now. Well, I trust you have something vitally important to tell me. Oh, well, yeah, I can actually talk to enough to interrupt me in the middle of Counts? By Ismir, Ireleth was right. The Jarl is, what as you can now, imagine, very busy. Shall we continue to trust can... in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll it's assume we're nice preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Good not... Enough. Fancy throne. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at beard. once. Yes, my mm. Almost forgot. Oh, my boots. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Oh yeah, we never tested well out done. those. Uh... You sought me out. There is a gun. Let's go find Faringar. Warbin armor, that stuff's heavy. Uh, let's put on these gloves here, instead of the Iron Hand gauntlets, which I was wearing. And we can actually test out that whole uh, effect of if healing is more twice effective and see if that actually affects uh, using Been looking into false a light. Matter related to these dragons and rumors. Come on now. Faringar. You may be the Yarl. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Yarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he. Yes. Well, when I say straight to the point, I uh go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brute. That is where your job ends in. Where's the arrow gone? Just stay in here. Where is he? Just don't talk Farangar, to him. You need to come at once. 
A dragon's been sighted nearby. No, up here then. You should come too. He's gonna tell me to wait if I talk Not to him. Not now. Yep. Gotta wait for those two to get up here. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did uh, it just do? a few more hours is it and attacking I can crawl the under some furs. No, my lord. Now it's not the it time. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Here we go. Better gather some guardsmen and get them the great thing about healing magic is it has great range. You can cast it at long distances. There's no time to stand on. I want you to go with. You survived Helgen, but I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragonstone. There's also no danger of friendly fire since it guard. actually helps your friends. As a token of my esteem, I have instruct. And please. Accept this gift from my personal armory. I swear if it's so heavy. Come along. I would very much like shield of chance. Intriguing. What is that? Ah. This dragon. No. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. You're working on ways to defend the city against Alright. We all know where the watchtower is, right? I've seen you helping the yard. If only all visitors to White Barn were as noble. Hey, would you look at that? Recognize. All right, so the watchtower is right there. And those gray mates to oblivion. If they want to back the storm close. They'll get what's coming to them. Sky. Uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? This is what I love about modded Skyrim. Some people make some beautiful things. Just look at this, these visuals. Time to fight a dragon. This ought to be good. Level 13. dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out. Look for the bike. Be careful. Be careful. Who needs to be careful? I'm wearing... I'm shirtless fighting a dragon. Let's go. I got the power of healing magic on my side. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Proki and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. 
Fucking let's save us. Here he comes again. And see, Ma healing magic has like no limit on range. So I can continue to hit them no matter how far away they are. that increases my magic regenerate. Yeah, here. Put that on. What's my armor right now? Do I have a better armor? Take 25% less damage while casting a spell. And 50 magic regenerates 50% faster twice. And conjuration spells cost 20% and 25% less. I don't know if the, how those stack, but I'm going to wear that. That's pretty good. Alright, I think that... I can't switch my boots out. My helmet... Do I have a better helmet? Have I really not found one? Fire resistance here. And some magic regeneration. I have not saved. Oh, that's so bad. Wait. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Increase my health, and then... Slam down a bunch of healing potions. More healing potions. More healing potions. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Oh god, he's doing it again? I haven't even recovered from the first one. So I'm gonna have to use all my healing potions to stay alive right here until he stops breathing fire on me. I can move. Get me out of here. Stop breathing fire directly. 
actually on me. Come on. Pick someone else to target. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. I need... Okay, I'm making a save right now before I die. And have to go all the way back to that bandit camp. I can't believe I forgot to heat to save. That was close. Way too close. And you just save of those guards that are flung over here when are they inside the burning wreckage. Yeah, there's one right there. Yikes, he landed right in the center of the fire. I really need a follower so I don't have to carry all this weight. Those dragon bones are heavy. But they're valuable, so. I can't believe it. You're in the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim. The dragon ball... That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to... According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training. The dragons. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. I can't believe it. You are dragonborn. I've never heard yep, a I'm a high elf. <laughs> there weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time. Forever. I had to use a lot of healing potions for that. Well, if not now, then when? You say you're left. You're being awfully quiet. Come on. I don't believe we actually killed the dragon. Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some myth. Drag. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an orc. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword on over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn. fast travel because you're overweight, that's when that spell really comes in handy. I didn't expect that to uh, hit me there, but oops, I was in a range. I was trying to reset where the gate location was. Didn't mean to do that though. Uh, uh, I'm back here. Alright, well, uh, back to the town I go. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're here. 
again. This time, I'm gonna cast it further away so it doesn't hit me. And then I'm gonna cast it one more time. So that it creates a gate there. And the next time I cast it, it should just bring me back. I need to sell some things. I'm gonna pop in here and see if I. Hopefully, it's not too late. It's too late. Alright, well. Uh, I'm gonna crawl myself into the inn then. Sleep until it's daytime. And then I'll be back. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Alright. Well security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Hope my bed's still available. It is perfect. Didn't earn enough, any uh, any of enough of gold to level up or anything like that. I still have one more skill point to use, I do, apparently. I don't know when I got that. Maybe killing dragons gives you skill points. I know that killing certain bosses and strong enemies do, and that is like a named dragon. It makes sense that it would give me a skill point. Nope, don't need, didn't need to go here, but let's see. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. Grab this one. I want to get this spell. I should have grabbed that actually, but uh, I'll get that next time. Or perk, I should say. Regardless, I think we're going to call the episode here. I'm going to wait a little while and see about selling off some of this gear so I'm not overweight next episode. And I will see you all in the next one. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.